I'm gonna tell the story of my friend who is a YouTuber. He's making Indonesian content, so I won't be shouting his channel out unless you're interested in anime and can speak Indonesian. If you're familiar with my past live streams, you might recognize him in my anime 2017 live stream. He's actually a YouTuber himself who just began making videos and he got way over 33,000 subscribers, which I find amazing. He made videos about anime related stuff. One of its videos is very interesting, and that video is debunking the fake news of a character in Boruto named Reihana Uzumaki, who is supposed to be the son of Boruto and Sarada. Yeah, at that moment in the manga and anime, they're not even that old, and they already have a kid who has Byakugan and Sharingan. I... <laughs> I don't know. For the eyes of anime fans outside my country, the existence of Reihana Uzumaki would definitely bring skepticism, and rightfully so, because Reihana Uzumaki turns out to be an original character, aka fan fiction. But unfortunately, thanks to the lack of internet-savvy users in Indonesia, including those in the anime community, a lot of people fell on the fake news brought by the hundreds of Indonesian anime channels that talk about Reihana Uzumaki. This is where my friend comes in to debunk said fake news, which I have to give huge credits for him. The Indonesian anime community are very rampant and popular, especially concerning the most popular anime like Boruto or Attack on Titan, etc. There are lots of channels that talk about anime and make top videos and all of that. One of the channels is obviously my friends, who is beginning to gain popularity. He said that a lot of the Indonesian anime channels are continuously making hoaxes or fake news about certain anime-related things. I always advise him to stick to the facts and research the topic and materials before making the videos. Cite your sources and please be honest and notify the viewers when the video is going to be about speculations or discussing facts. And this brings us to Senran Kagura. So there was an article in PlayStation Lifestyle about how the Senran Kagura producer is considering to tone down the sexuality in their games. To all of you Senran Kagura fans, you'd be outraged. Why would a game who appeals into a niche market be dumbed down for the wider audiences? Wouldn't that result in the loss of the niche audiences who love your game in the first place? Asked whether he and or the studio have considered an option for toning down the game's busty females, Kanichiro had this to say. A little bit. The game started out very small and that was the big selling point in order to move units. Now that the franchise has grown and is getting more popular, it might be worth considering having features that differ depending on where it's being sold. That way, it might be able to sell better in certain regions where it would be problematic to have that kind of content. Credits to Ryan from Kotaku in action, the word and the concept problematic doesn't even exist in Japanese. So how the translator would come into using the word problematic is something that deserves questioning. When talking about negative reviews of the series due to sexuality, here's what Senran Kagura producer Kenichiro Takaki had to say. However, there are also reviews that ignore the games due to the sexual content and write it off from the start, so those aren't very helpful. If you're gonna write it off due to a main component, then that game just isn't for you, and that review isn't really useful as feedback. This reminds me of what happened recently when our resident hypocrite Jed Whittaker calls Valkyrie Drive Bikuni Dynasty Warriors for pedophiles, with no hints of irony. This is the same person who orders Dakimakuras off of Amazon and watches Attack on Titan characters having sex in VR, and keep in mind that these Attack on Titan characters are still minors. It's also weird that you're calling this game for pedophiles. Are pedophiles really seeking for chicks that have huge tits? There's a lot of projection, nepotism, and sickening hypocrisy from the Western gaming journalists. I'm not saying all of them, I'm saying most of them, to the point where it's not worth trying to please them. So if you're making a game and that game has tons of fan service content, I highly recommend you just make it anyway, regardless of what these journalists think. Now what does this have to do with fake news? Well, there's not a lot of context being provided on where this interview is held. Not even the original Japanese text or the full interview. Where is this interview conducted? What are the questions that are being asked in the interview? Where's the original Japanese text so that we can naturally translate it ourselves? Would there be a link into a full interview of some sort? The source for this is the writer for the site and the producer of the game. Should this be proof enough that the next games are going to be censored or toned down? What is even the question that are being asked? Can you be at least a little bit more specific? I want to dismiss this entire thing as just rumor being spread by one website as one quick Google search of this topic leads to nowhere but the PlayStation Lifestyle website. However, this has turned from a baseless rumor into, well, confirmed rumor. Marvelous Games, the publisher of Samurai Kagura, went out to confirm this, saying that they're not going to tone down the European release of Samurai Kagura games. Good news, right? Well, they did confirm that the interview with PlayStation Lifestyle happened, and the context of this paragraph is about future game releases in Japan. So the Japanese release of this game is probably going to be toned down, and the European publishers don't really have to tone anything down because 
the Japanese creators already did. It's basically kind of like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which I did a video on, link in the description. So would the next Senran Kagura game have their fan surfaces toned down in their Japanese version? We don't really know for sure. At this moment, we're only gonna take the developers' words for it. It would be best for us to see it with our own two eyes and judge it. We can't compare it between the Japanese and European version, but we can probably compare it with their past titles to see whether or not they stick to their words. Now, I want to talk about the idea of dumping down video games into appeal to Western sensibilities, whatever the hell that means. This might come off as a shock to all of you, but as someone who likes anime and the anime culture and Japanese stuff, and as someone whose channel was built on a discussion of anime fanservice, Senran Kagura is a little too fanservice-y for me. It's a fanservice-y galore game, just like Galgun, and unfortunately, blatant fanservice isn't something of my taste. Some of you might be shocked hearing that, but there you go. The game isn't horrible or immoral, it's just not for me. Which is why, speaking as someone who is not into the fanservice nature of this game or any other game with fanservice as their primary selling point, do not tone the game down just for me. The reason why people buy your game is because the game is the game, not because the game is Call of Duty. People buy Seren Kagura expecting Seren Kagura. They expect fan service. Removing or censoring or toning down the fan service is going to risk you losing the customers that gain the interest of your game because of the fan service. So back into the topic of rumors and fake news, hearing this sort of thing spreading out, I understand the concerns of the fans of the original games. Like I said in another video, send your opinions politely to the game developers through whatever social media that you have in your hands. Tell them your opinions and tell them what you think. However, when news like this begins spreading, I also recommend you guys to double check the sources and make sure that the sources are confirmed before you guys make your purchase decisions. Check on the reviews, check on other sites, don't just trust me as your primary source of entertainment, there are those that make better more informative content than me so check them out as well that's all for the video today if you like this you can go ahead click like button and subscribe for more if you wish you can support me on patreon and thanks for watching